All of Nolting's newer series machines, which include the Pro, the Funk Quilter, and the CLX, and even some of the older commercial machines, have channel locks. Channel locks are important to prevent the carriage or from moving horizontally or the machine from moving back and forth on the carriage. I use the, the channel lock that is on the carriage to prevent the machine from moving back and forth to create a basting line when I'm basting my batting to my backing. The carriage that you may have with your quilt imagine may not have a channel lock that locks the machine to the carriage. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basting line that you can use with Quilt Magin. On our main screen, under Design and Create, we're going to choose Pattern. This brings us to our Pattern CAD portion of Quilt Magin where we will design our straight line. There are several options that we need to select here in order to make it come out correctly. In the left column, we're going to tap on Snap to Grid so that lines that we create will snap to the grid on the screen. On the right hand portion of the screen, we're going to select Draw and Line. And now we're ready to create our line. Holding the left mouse button down, Draw, oops, I goofed. We'll erase that and we'll start over again. Holding the left mouse button down, go across two or three of the larger portions of the grid and stop. And you'll notice that we have a straight line. It was very easy for me to erase the mistake that I had as I went off of my straight line just by going up to the top of the screen and tapping on the back arrow. Now that we have our straight line, we're going to save it. Tap on your Save button at the top of the page. We are going to save this under Continuous Line Designs because that's how we're going to be using it when we need our basting line. Down on the bottom of the screen where it says File Name, tap on that, which brings up our keyboard, and type in Basting. basting line. Enter and then in the bottom right hand corner tap on save. Now that we have our straight basting line it's easy for us to import the straight basting line from our continuous line designs every time we need to baste the back, batting to our backing on our quilt. Quilt Magin is open. I'm going to open the panograph tab. It opens up to continuous line designs and right here is the straight line or the continuous line basting that line design that we already created. I'm going to select it and open it up. Now one of the things that you'll notice here is you don't see the straight line here but trust me it's there. We need to tell the computer and quilt imagine what we're going to do with that one of the easiest and quickest ways to set up our basting line is to use this tab right up here, our measuring tool. And we're going to measure across the top of our quilt somewhere in the vicinity of where I want to stitch that basting line. I will take it to the left side and tap on this one, take it to the right side and tap on this side of the tab, and then I'm going to Tap down here where it says Apply Measurement. Applying the measurement, tapping on the left tab, moving the machine to the right hand side of my stitching area and tapping on the right tab. You can see the measured line on my screen right now. I'm going to apply the measurement. Again, going back to the other screen, you don't really see it there. Don't worry. Trust me, it is still there. What you do notice on this screen is the pattern width. 
70.826 inches. Moving now over to the right side of the bottom left of options here, I'm going to click Quilt as Single Pattern. On my pattern stitching screen, I'm going to need to make some changes. This was previously set up for block setting. I don't want that. I'm going to go up to settings and tap on that. Tap on one point setting for the placement method. And down here under fill method, my start point is going to be center. That way it will evenly place my basting line between the left and right hand side of the quilt top. And tap OK. On my screen now, you can see my center point placement button. I'm going to move my, here, my carriage or my machine head to the center point where I want to start it and tap on that and then I'll be ready to baste. I'm placing my basting line about an inch, an inch and a half down from the edge of my zipper and lining up my center point with the center point on my zipper. When I have it in the right spot, I simply tap on my button indicating the center point and on my screen there's a little dot also indicating the center point. From here on in, it's just a matter of simply sewing it out. I'm going to move my carriage to the left hand side, somewhere in the vicinity where I'll start. I'll pull my bobbin and then sew my basting line. And one of the things I forgot to mention is that you might want to have changed your stitch length to longer for basting. There you go, a basting line all ready to line up the top of my quilt.